everyone this is my channel tally learning world in today's video we will discuss about how to calculate tds as per the new section 194q in tally prime so there is a new section has been introduced from 1st july 2021 that is purchase of goods under tds so it will be on 0.1% applicability on purchase transaction which exceeds more than 50 lakhs in a year and the responsibility of the deduction shall lie on the buyers whose turnover exceeds more than 10 crore so to create some ledgers on tds first thing we need to press f11 and in f11 we have option enable tax deducted at source let's enable this feature so as you can see once we after enable this features we will fill all these details for the enabling the tds so once after enabling the tds we'll create some ledgers to create a ledger we'll go to gateway of tally create ledger so let me create a party name as anil under sundry creditors so i'll just enable the option is tds deductible s and i'll select as individual huf resident so i'll ensure this option direct in same voucher to no and i'll just press f12 under f12 we have configuration so there we have provide tds details will should be s and ensure this allow advance entries in tds masters to yes so once you enable this option you will be getting the option used advance tds entries so let's make this option yes so here we have a option called advance entries in tds masters so here we have a option so ignore surcharge exemption limit yes so here ignore income tax exemption limit it's undefined so let me make this option as applicable and i'll select tds nature of goods which i have already created so i'll just press enter and just press exit so i'll just provide the party's pan number So I have provided the GSTN number as well for party. So let me create one purchase ledger. So purchase under purchase account, and I'll select here GST as applicable and type of supply goods. If TDS is applicable, we'll make this option yes, and TDS nature of payment I'll be going to select over here. So I'll just press Control. So now we will be going to create TDS duty tax ledger under duties and taxes type of duty TDS and I'll select TDS nature of purchase of goods as by TDS purchase of goods. So I'll just press Control. So I'll just show you how do I have created the TDS nature of payment. so by altering that as you can see i have given the tds nature of payment as in this way and i have given the section as 194q and with pan percentage is 0.10% and without pan percentage it's 5% so and i have given the exemption limit of 50 lakhs over here so let me press control a so to record a transaction we'll go to voucher and we'll press f9 so here you can see the supplier invoice number is coming so let me give some supplier invoice number and select the party name as anil so here you can see the tds stock i am selecting and i'm giving some rate around 
by lakhs. So here I'll select now the purchase ledger and the accessible value it's showing me by default as 75 lakh. So as there is exemption limit of 50 lakhs, so out of 75 lakhs, if you reduce 50 lakhs, the exemption limit is for 25 lakhs. So I'll calculate CGST and I won't be going to change any of the accessible value in CGST and I'll calculate SGST. Even here, I won't be changing any accessible value and I'll just press Ctrl A to accept the screen. Now, to check the report, we'll just press Alt G. We'll just press 26 form. That is 26 Q. You can see the amount it's been showing as TDS deductible is 3400. So if you want to deduct the TDS, still it we have been not yet deducted the TDS. The amount column here deducted up from the current period or previous period, it's blank. So to deduct this TDS, we can just press Alt J from the screen and you can select the party and TDS nature of payment and your duty tax which has been created. So as you can see the amount has been already deducted and we'll just press Ctrl A. So hope you have understood this video or oh, thank you for watching the video. Kindly like, comment and share my videos. For more videos subscribe to my channel Tally Learning World and press the bell icon for more updates and new videos.